Hello everyone, Jeff of The Green Review. This red maple has chlorosis. What is chlorosis? Chlorosis is a deficiency of a nutrient. Sometimes it's iron, sometimes it's manganese, and a lot of times that nutrient is available in the soil, but the tree can't get it. So the, the problem is that the, the soil pH, the acidity of the soil is too high. So instead of being acidic, the, the soil is basic, so it's above the pH of 7, and it would be better if it was below the pH of 7, so that the tree would be able to absorb the iron or manganese or other nutrient out of the soil. So you can see that these leaves have green veins and the rest of the leaf is yellow. That's a real clear sign of chlorosis. And you can see also that the, the, the branches aren't growing as well and that there's some dieback. The, the, the leaves aren't doing as well and a lot of times the stems are shorter. Sometimes trees will go for several years until they get their roots out far enough where they can't get enough nutrients and then they will start showing up the problem after they've been growing in the, in the landscape for several years. So one of the things you can do is use a chelated iron, that's C-H-E-L-A-T-E-D, chelated iron, as a spray to spray on the tree so that the iron soaks right into the leaves. Another th solution is to try to lower the pH of the soil. That's much harder to do. The pH of the soil is going to remain stable and, uh, and eventually in the long run go back to its normal natural spot wherever that is. So you can add sulfur compounds to try to lower the pH. You can, you can find acidity fertilizers that will try to lower the pH. And those work well on, on small plantings. Say you have an azalea or a blueberry that's in a, in a small spot and you can fertilize right around it. But on a larger plant like a tree, it's much more difficult. Pin oaks and, and red maples and some of the birches get this problem. And either you tolerate it, you put the chelated iron on there, or you take the tree out and plant a new tree. There isn't a lot of choices there. Um, and they're going to be expensive in the long run if you try to do the treatments. So next time you take a look at your tree leaves, you see if the, the leaves are green and the dark, veins are much darker green, uh, or they're even bright yellow with dark green veins, and you'll know that you have a chlorosis problem. Take a branch, take some leaves that are, that are green and some that are not as healthy like these, to your local extension office so your master gardeners can take a look at it or have a licensed arborist come and take a look at your tree and see what they recommend for uh, for treatments this has been a greener view thanks for watching